Hello everybody, this is Juntes. We are going to be starting a series of meta on Diablo 2 for all classes, starting out with the Necromancer. So a while back a person commented about this idea, and I actually think it's pretty good because there are a lot of controversial topics that we can start off with. And the first class is going to be the Necromancer, the class that I have definitely had my share of thoughts around. And also being told, you know, this is not right. But um, yeah, I learned from that. And today we're going to be taking a look at the three main specs of Necromancers. Summon or Fishymancer, as some people know it. Poison and Bone Necromancer or just Poison Nova. And Skeleton or what can you say, Bone. I am not really going to be talking much about PvP, so stuff like Bone Spirit is not really talked about and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I should also mention a little disclaimer here. My point of view is more in-game focused, you know, uh, PvM, uh, no PvP, uh, non-ladder, so forth. Not really, you know, uh, <laughs> playing around at low levels or having low gear. The point of view that I always kind of have in my videos is mostly just in-game focused with like the optimal gear setups and whatnot. So yeah, hope we can kind of get a good discussion going on these topics because there's like a lot of uh, you know topics to be had on all the classes in Diablo 2. So I think we need to start off by addressing the elephant in the room, Corpse Explosion. Now, my thought around Necromancer has always been that every single Necromancer build, it doesn't matter what gear level, it doesn't matter what level, uh, non-ladder, ladder, whatever, you're always going to be relying on Corpse Explosion on every single build that you do for Necromancers. And to this day, I still believe that I just cannot see a build, any build, perform without this build. Um, obviously, you know, uh, there are certain, you know, like this, like the speed is okay at uh, certain areas and whatnot, but like we're going to Act Five, and you maybe even get like a few players in the game or whatever. Suddenly, it's just not that fast. Cause take this for instance, they are immune to poison also, so that's not really good on this build. But then, boom, boom, a few cops explosion, and they're just dead. Corpse explosion is just so integrated in every single Necromancer build that it's kind of boring. Uh, because like, you can have the greatest gear and the greatest build and the greatest uh, items, whatever. You're still just going to be spamming corpse explosions. So like, you get that one kill and then you just hit the corpse explosion. And, you know, again, corpse explosion, it doesn't matter what gear level uh, you have. Obviously, there's a bit of a radius thing, but like, I don't even know how many. Yeah, I had 34 points into corpse explosion in this particular poison over build. But, um, yeah. I think that's pretty much the elephant in the room, so let's cover, uh, you know, just the more standard stuff next up. So as I got more wealth in the game and made more builds on the channel, I kinda just ended up liking the Poison Over Necromancer the most. I feel like this is so cool a build, it has all, you know, it looks cool with the Poison Over effect and it, like, it even has like a few things that makes it stand out compared to, you know, a Summon Necromancer which basically just keeps summons up, whereas this combines poison nova damage with summons and yeah, obviously corpse explosion as well, but <laughs> I still think that uh, poison nova is probably the overall best uh, build uh, and it's uh, down to just, you know, general RE being able to do decent damage on top of corpse explosion like in for instance, uh, if you were just spamming say bone spear Bone Spear is not an AoE like Poison Nova, so it's gonna be less damage on the screen. Like it's uh, one one few hits or whatever, yeah, it pierces as well, so you can like hit maybe five targets or whatever if you aim well. But <laughs> Poison Nova is just uh, really, really sweet. Another thing is also, um, <laughs> it's actually quite fun, but every Necromancer build has this 1 2 3 rotation. I can just kinda, you know, play a little proper now, so you can kinda guess what that is. Basically, you hit your curse, you hit your spell, and you hit your corpse explosion. That is the rotation for every single Necromancer build in the game. Um, I can just quickly talk a little bit about how the other builds uh, plays out. So for summon, it will just be using, let's see, 
decrypify, no, amplify damage. So you hit amplify damage, then you basically just, yeah, <laughs> do like any sort of damage with your summons and then corpse explosion. There's not really a third choice, I suppose. And then for poison and bone, it's the same thing as poison and Numa, where you hit your curse. In this case, I think it's... Yeah, I do think we might actually... Was it Amplify Damage? Sorry again if it was uh, wrong, but yeah, Amplify Damage. Then you hit either your Bone Spirit or your Bone Spear, and then Corpse Explosion. So all three pills uses this 1-2-3 rotation, and it just works really well. It's kind of like a fun media rotation where you uh, switch out spells rapidly. So there's like no really slowdown in the gameplay, which is also kind of fun because like a lot of uh, rotations and one of game styles in the game, uh, you basically just use one or two abilities uh, and you switch between them now and then, whereas the Necromancer switches constantly, which is, you know, both a challenge, uh, challenged way to play. Um, like if you kind of want to play a little bit more relaxed, it's maybe annoying to always think, oh, but I should use the curse before I start doing damage and so forth. It can be a bit clunky. Like it would be nice if, you know, the curse was just automatically applied or, or something like that. Uh, yeah. So time to take a look at the summon build for Necromancer. I'm just going to quickly mention that I'm using a beast setup with like a weird faster cast rate setup in Marowakers and Homunculus. Oh yeah, and even Infinity and whatnot. Um, but basically, why is the Necromancer not relying on summons so much for the other two builds? You saw before that I was able to clear Act 5 areas without really bothering with summons. And it's just because I really do believe that summons are just not that good in this game. The AI is bad, it's clunky, um, the damage is not very good on the summons, and it's annoying to keep spamming on the corpses because you're using your corpses for corpse explosion. So then you're like, oh, should I not blow up the entire screen just really fast? Poof, poof. Um, yeah, the the way we do summons in this game is just very clunky and outdated, which you, you can see, you know, uh, compared to Diablo 3's Nurkomans that was recently made available uh, in the DLC. But uh, yeah, um, if the damage was just high on the summons, I would uh, agree that it would be worth to always keep summons up. But like if you're just playing casually and you just kind of want to have some fun, dig around, you don't really need summons on uh, a bone necromancer or poison over necromancer. However, I will just mention really fast that it's pretty cool that we can actually do ubers on a necromancer using summons. Um, but yeah. I I don't know really if that, uh, you know, makes it good or whatever. Um, but yeah, like, like for instance, you saw that now I blew up the entire screen. Now I only have like a few corpses to get up summons and uh, it's just, uh, it's so annoying to kind of bother with. Uh, maybe I'm just lazy, but I feel like summons are just overall annoying to keep up in this game. And again, they're just kind of weak. I wouldn't say they're very weak, but they're definitely not also strong in the sense that um, you think you always have to keep up your full army and whatnot. Because like we have so many low tier summons, like who cares about skeleton mages? The only thing that really matters is to raise skeletons and revives. The others are basically just extra damage or meat shields and whatnot. That's also kind of like an annoying thing because yeah, there's just so many min-max to it and, and whatnot. But again, I want to say a little note thing is also how a summon necromancer requires pretty much no gear, which I talked about in a recent video where I showed it off as a fishermancer build doing necromancer as the hardcore, as a dim vision spamming necromancer summoner. It was actually a lot of fun to just kind of, you know, utilize dim vision, which is a curse which basically just enables you to play really safely uh, and for those who are maybe really low geared or want to, you know, for some reason solo um, you know, hardcore hell difficulty with little gear they could do this on this build because that is like a thing I want to mention really fast here a Fishymancer even not played that good or geared at all even if you're not that experienced in Diablo 2 that is probably the easiest build to play and it's also why it's a favorite choice for, say, a ladder reset or something like that. 
Uh, that and a sorcerer is just because they have teleport. Those two builds are always a stable way to kind of get started. Because uh, having summons just uh, makes it so easy to play. Because uh, you can just kind of, you know, run around, avoid damage while your summons do all the work for you. And that is definitely a very good way to play. <laughs> so yeah, let's cover the next build. Ah yes, the Bone Necromancer. So why do I not think this build is better than Poison Nova? You can just see now where I'm spamming, spamming, spamming and I'm not killing anything. If this was Poison Nova, I would already have finished off all the packs that was at least not Poison Immune. Um, there, there just, there's just nothing more to say than that. Bone Spear just lacks AoE and Bone Spear is too slow a projectile. Uh, they're both very good PvP uh, abilities. Um, I will s uh, say that uh, they're excellent for PvP, but um, the damage is just not there. And like again, this is the old build, you know. On the hero editor, with like crazy gear, you know. Fucking hell, this gear, yeah, <laughs> very insane white, and yeah, you know, all this, all this gear. And I'm still only doing, you know, six thousand spear damage. That is also another thing. Six thousand damage is just not a lot. Uh, one poison over would, I don't know, we may not finish off an elite pack, but like it would get close. Um, however, I will say that it's actually pretty fun to play this build. It's sort of like, um, a, you know, bow Amazon where you're aiming a lot and it kind of rewards, you know, skillful play, I suppose. Um, another thing I also quickly want to mention is that you are probably able to get into the, you know, corpse explosion spamming rotation a lot faster on this than any other Neurocromancer build. So for like high tier, you know, think 2 minutes and 50 seconds Chaos one with no clear, uh, no skipping mobs, it would probably be faster. Um, I will uh, admit that because god, you can really clear fast in this build. And it's really just down to being able to get that first corpse lying on the ground so you can chain into corpse explosion really fast. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I wish I could say something more positive about this build, but it just lacks AoE, which uh, poison over, you know, it almost has too much of it, uh, you could say. But um, yeah, I'm maybe also a bit of an AoE, you know, nerd. I talked about this before where I think that any build that doesn't have great AoE is just gonna underperform in any scenario. Very well then, at the end of the video, let's get some conclusion going. If you want to have fun and you're maybe just starting out in Diablo 2, the summoner is probably the best build just because again you don't need any gear to make uh, you know, dim vision work, um, the curse here, and you also really don't need any gear to make summons just okay decent like there's no need for an overkill setup like this one to make it work out and that would only be required for maybe doing ubers or really hard content like i don't know cares one eight players or whatever um if you want to kind of have fun and you know play a flashy build that yeah it's more tailored for in-game because some of the items that you need to make the build work out really well are very expensive and hard to get such as death sweep uh, poison over so if you're like aiming for in-game you know you can get the gear i would definitely say that one if you're more into like a hybrid uh, sort of deal between the two you know the best of both things or maybe you're more into pvp a bone necromancer is definitely the way to go so yeah that is definitely my take on these three builds Again, I will try to make more videos on this uh, topic here because I like these sort of meta videos myself uh, for other games I see on YouTube and whatnot. Um, but yeah, feel free to comment if you kind of want more of this because uh, obviously not all classes are going to be as you know controversial as uh, the Necromancer. Like some builds are pretty you know easy to kind of you know uh, <laughs> talk about, uh, whereas some are just like I can already imagine some of the comments. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some, you know, heated discussion going on in Diablo 2 about what builds perform best for certain things. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, have a good one.